All right, good afternoon. Uh, well, thank you for setting high expectations. I hope I can live up to it. Uh, you know, my name is Sabi Sachi and uh, I run the affinity business for Medibuddy. Uh, and uh, I'm going to start with the story, right? A couple of weeks back, I was in Mumbai having lunch with a friend. Uh, it was a good lunch, dim sums and all of that. On my way back, this friend calls back to me and says, hey, I need your help. I said, what happened? So my drivers asked for a huge salary advance. Uh, you know, I said, why? He says, his brother is admitted in the hospital for the last 10 days. They really don't know what's happening, right? But they're spending a lot of money and now he needs more money, right? So this case is not one in isolation. There are several such cases that happen in India every day. In fact, every second, every second in India, two, two people get into medical debt, right? They go into poverty because of medical expenses. And I'll talk more about that later. What exacerbates this problem is the fact that only 63% of India is covered with health insurance, right? And when you look at rural India, the number is a staggering 80%. So imagine that four out of five people in the country do not have health insurance. So what happens? 50% of the medical expenses are borne out of pocket, right? What makes the situation worse is that the medical expenses in India are escalating at the rate of 14% per year. We are the highest in Asia, not surprising, right? We, the costs are escalating every single year at an alarming rate and that makes it difficult. So what happens is that people avoid health checkups. 75% of the people, right, avoid regular health checkups, 90%. And I think many of us can identify with that. 90% do not go for regular doctor visits because they're afraid, right? They're afraid that what if something's found out? How am I going to be able to afford it, right? So, the, you know, and, and as I said, right, so 63 million, two individuals, every second go into poverty because of medical expenses, right? So that's a staggering 63 million. While the NBFCs have done a fantastic job of sort of taking care of the financial well-being, what about the health? We've heard that the delinquencies, the NPAs are going up, right? Not for everybody, but for many, right? Recently, I read something on the paper two days back that for MFI segment, it's 11.8% delinquency, right? And one of the contributors is their health their inability to earn because they're not fit enough to earn, right? And we'll talk more about that. The problem is not just one of affordability. The problem is also one of access, right? 80% uh, of the doctors live in urban India for reasons you can well empathize, right? But so you've left with 20% of the doctors to cater to 65% of India that lives in rural India. India. So, so you see, it's a twin problem of access and affordability. And that's what we're trying to solve. So how can you really solve it? Can you solve it by building hospitals and clinics in every nook and cranny of the country? Right? A physical capex heavy model, right, is definitely not going to be tenable, not going to be sustainable in the long run. Right? So what's the solution? The solution is digital healthcare. And that's where Medibody comes in as the largest digital health tech player in the country. Right? And what do we mean by largest? We have the largest network, right? So we cover 96% of the PIN codes in India, right? So which means that wherever your borrowers are, we are there, right? And we're constantly expanding. Um, you know, there are some stats that talk about the number of doctor consultations, health checks, medicines, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, but this just goes to show the kind of reach and the expanse and the scale of operations that we have to support your borrowers in keeping them healthy. Um, so what exactly do we do? Very quickly, right? Doctor consultations, you know, on tele telephone, on video, or you can even go and visit a doctor in the office. We also do pharmacy, which means you can order medicines online, or you can go to a store and pick it up, right? Uh, and then we do preventive health checks. How do we do that? You can get home collection done. You can have health camps at your branches or in your customer locations where people can go and collect the samples. Uh, and finally, we are doing something called Medibuddy on Wheels, where imagine a guy with a backpack going with a set of devices and sort of conducts an array of tests for your customers, right? So, so these are the, broadly the 
we call it CLM, Consults, Labs and Meds, right? This is the broad portfolio that we have. And, you know, the numbers on the previous slide talk to it, right? So in summary, what I wanted to say is that, look, a single medical incident with your borrower, and borrower can push them into poverty, right? Just a single incident. Like I said, two, two Indians every second get into medical debt. Uh, while you're taking, a, you know, taking good care of the financial needs, you need to also take care of their health and their well-being well so that they have the ability to earn and to repay your loans in time. And that's where we come in. So if you have a booth outside, please come meet my team that's there. And we are headquartered of Delhi and Bangalore both. So please, you're welcome to join us and really look, see for yourself the kind of investments you are making to, uh, you know, make this experience better and better. We recently got a patent awarded to ourselves for improving teleconsultation, the first in the industry, right? Uh, imagine you as a doctor talking to a patient and you being prompted by the uh, software that, hey, you're too close to the camera, the lighting is not right, ask these questions, and based on the questions, the software is prompting you with a solution or a potential diagnosis, the doctor then picks the diagnosis. You've also asked what kind of allergies you have, so it's prompting the medicines that you can prescribe and so on and so forth. So, so we're really investing heavily in that. Another example that I'll cite is that, how many of you have used Swiggy? It's very few in the room. Okay, a little better. So, you can tell how far the delivery executive is from your place once you place an order. Five minutes, ten minutes, right? We are working on something similar where the phlebotomist who comes and collects blood samples from your borrower, right, is able to tell that, okay, this guy is half an hour away, 45 minutes away or 10 minutes away. And when the distance or the time is more, imagine because the borrower is probably fasted to give blood samples, right? So when the borrower or the, the, the phlebotomist is far away, we can proactively take corrective actions to ensure that there is a faster solution available to your partners, to, to your borrowers. So, so there are many innovations. So like I said, please come and talk to us. The team's here. And, uh, you know, we are all over. We are in 2021 locations. Our offices are there in 2021 locations across the country. And we are happy to meet with you and discuss with you how we can together make your borrowers in India healthy. Right? Thank you very much. Thank you.